So your offer was accepted. Now what? The next step is for Tim to order your inspections. A general inspection is highly recommended and will include things such as heating and air conditioning, interior finishes, plumbing systems, electrical service and wiring, foundations and structure, doors, exterior finishes, windows, roof drainage, roofing and flashing, insulation and ventilation, and chimneys. The cost can range from $250 up to $500 or more, depending on the size of the home. In addition, you may choose to order an inspection of the sewer lateral. In most areas, the homeowner is responsible for the sewer pipe between the home and the public main. This can reveal problems such as root intrusion or a collapsed pipe. If you don't discover this now, you will likely not discover a potential problem until it backs up into your basement. The inspector will run a camera the length of the pipe to determine if there are any concerns and will provide a video, along with any recommendations to you when finished. The average cost of a sewer lateral inspection is $300, but as Tim will tell you, it's money well spent. Some buyers will ask for a radon inspection as well. Radon is a gas that you can't smell, taste, or see. Radon forms naturally when radium, uranium, or thorium breaks down in rock soil and groundwater. People can be exposed to radon primarily from breathing it within air that comes through cracks and gaps in buildings and homes. Since radon comes naturally from the earth, people are always exposed to it. Having your home tested is the only effective way to determine whether you or your family is at risk of high radon exposure. In Tim's experience, approximately half of his clients will ask to have this done. The average cost is $150. If the levels are determined to be above EPA standards, we'll ask that the seller install a mitigation system at their expense to bring the levels back to safe standards. A termite inspection is always recommended and will usually run you around $75. Depending on the general inspector you use, this can sometimes be included with their regular fee. Folks will sometimes ask for a wildlife inspection to be done as well. Even though your general inspector will look for evidence of droppings and such in the attic, this specialized inspection is usually far more in-depth regarding the detection of mice, raccoons, and even squirrels. The cost is approximately $100, and depending on where the house is located, it may be a good idea. A natural gas inspection is another option to consider. Usually the gas service provider in the area will have a fee they charge to come out and perform this inspection which will check lines on appliances for leaks. In Tim's experience, less than 1 in 20 buyers request this inspection. Finally, if the home has a septic system, propane gas service, or a private well, it may be a good idea to have these systems inspected as well. We generally have 10 days to complete all of our inspections and to submit our inspection notice to the sellers. Within this notice, we have three options. One, buyer is satisfied with all inspections and requests no repairs. Two, buyer is terminating the contract with earnest money to be returned. Or three, buyer requests certain repairs and or monetary settlement from the seller. Once the notice has been received by the seller, the buyer and seller now have an additional 10 days to come to agreement. This is called the inspection resolution period. After the seller has received the inspection notice from the buyer, the seller also has three choices. One, to satisfy the requests of the buyer, in which case, the contingency is considered resolved. Two, to propose to satisfy the buyer in a manner other than the one requested by the buyer. Or, three, to decline to satisfy the buyer's request altogether. This process can go back and forth several times before final resolution is reached and can at times be a somewhat stressful process. After the inspection contingency has been resolved, your lender will request that an appraisal be done to determine the property's true value. If you are a cash buyer, you can choose to do this as well through an independent appraiser, and the average cost is $400 to $500. If the home appraises for less than the sale contract price, the seller is obligated to bring the sale price down to the appraised value, or, let you out of the contract, with earnest money returned. A couple of other things to be aware of. After you have an accepted sale contract, you usually have 10 days to speak with your insurance agent to ensure that the property is actually insurable. This is really just a formality, unless there are special conditions present, such as, the property is located within a flood zone. You also usually have 25 days to order a survey of the property. This is totally optional, but buyers will generally order one if they plan to install a fence or if the property lines are in question. The average cost for this is $400 but could be considerably more if there is above average acreage involved, or, if the terrain is mostly wooded, or has inconsistent elevations. So, to wrap this up, 
all of these items combined can really seem overwhelming, but with an experienced agent like Tim on your team, this entire process can become far less stressful. Yes, the process can be somewhat nerve-wracking at times, but if you were to ask every buyer that has been through this process, 9 out of 10 will tell you, after all was said and done, it was definitely worth it.